Mr. President, Mr. President, who won the debate last night? Who won the debate? you're doing this very fine work. Mr. Tom Gard? Mr. President, it's an oh, honor and privilege to be here to do for our young Well, there Mr. George Craver? Mr. Craver? Do. Still over there. Nice to meet you. And I know you know Mr. Clement Stone. How are you? Well, I couldn't do better. <laughs> Your TV programs on Sunday were beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Ron Graves. Honored to meet you, sir. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Thank you, sir. Hey. <laughs> Davi Lewis. Hello there. Well, nice to meet you. Brian Vogler. Honored to meet you. I am trying to meet all of you. Don Reed. Hello there. Thank you. Dion Knighton. Sorry to meet you, Mr. President. Hello. Jeremiah Milbank. Mr. President, Jerry, go once again for this great experience. 
Sean Dufresne. Hello, Mr. Ritchie. Nice to see you. Chad McBride. Hello, Nick. Nice to see you, Nanny. Mr. Ralph McCormick. <clears throat> Hello, Nick. Nice to see you. <laughs> Angela Thomas. Hello, Nanny. Nice to see you. And the winner this year, Mr. Taylor Pruitt. Well, Nanny, congratulations to you. Okay. Okay. Well, everybody gather around. That's yeah. right. Well, go and then Good. I think all of these young people, these are the finalists. I think that all of them have set an example for all of us to follow in the community service that they rendered. But I'm now going to present to the winner, Taylor Pruett of the Cabarrus County Boys Club, this plaque. The National Youth of the Year chosen from more than one million members of the Boys Club of America in recognition of outstanding achievements in citizenship and leadership as illustrated in a commitment of voluntary service to family, friends, and community from the Boys Clubs of America. Mr. President, we the Youth of the Year from the Five Ridges of the United States would like to present to you this autographed football and deep appreciation for your service as our Chief Executive and Honorary Chairman of the Board for the Boys Clubs of America. Well, thank you very much. very pleased and proud to have this. Football was a, uh, had a very, very important place in my life and, and still is in my heart, if not my legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Proud to have this. And again, congratulations to all of us. And thanks for the, the example that you set. Mr. Right. President. Mr. President, it's my honor to present to you our report of Boys Clubs of America that describes how we're going to grow from our present service level to serve two million youngsters by the year 1991. And that will mean two million more taxpayers instead of two million more welfare recipients. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. I look forward to Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry. All right. I think okay. that all of you are supposed right. to move in for a group of folks. Y'all have to get close so we can get everybody in the picture. Yes, thank you. A little bit. Everybody a little bit closer. And I think this gentleman here, I'm losing, he's behind the winner. He can move just a little bit to the right. And then each of the gentlemen perfect. That's great. No, you stay right there. Perfect. Great. We have to so get our this judge. Gentleman, yes, with the red tie. Perhaps you could switch places with that young man. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. Okay. Great job. Now we're going to do one more. No one reads all the names under the caption in the caption, so they always begin. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. President. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. Seven years of hard work for you and your staff that preceded this report I'm going to get today. We made it 
possible. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dr. Samuel Myers. I know you all met before. Mr. President, hello there. Yes. Nice to see you. Happy to see you. And uh, we hope we can follow up uh, with another meeting. Well, all the historical black colleges. And I say, I would look forward to that. And where is Mel? There. <laughs> Mel, to hear this and see if we can arrange that. That'll be fine. Thank you very much. Mr. Chris Bradley. Mr. President, thank you for all you've been doing the United Negro College Fund. That's what I am the president of that. Well, thank you. Dr. Frizzell Robinson. Mr. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Good luck. Oswald Bronson. Mr. President, uh, greetings from Bethune Cookman College, Daytona Beach, Florida. Thank you. Nice Dr. Michael Raddick. Mr. President, how's the jury going to help your colleague raise some money? Years ago. Oh, no, my yes. yes. I had a doing well. No. Glad to hear that. Lynette Moorhead. Hello, David. Good to see you. Ms. Rogena Miller. Hello, David. College, it's wonderful to meet you. Well, nice to see you. Ms. Janet Torsen. Hello there. Good to see you. Okay. I think we're all together in the picture here, but. Picture? Stand here, and if we can have a few. Four of you on the side. Other side. All the way around on the side. That'd be great. Okay. And if we can have four of you on the other side. I think you're going on the right side, though. Well, I agree with you, Colleges and universities that you all represent, I think you have performed a very great service. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. So we, uh, Wanted to especially to say thank you on behalf of all the black colleges and to uh, give some ideas of how in the next few months we can enshrine this industry. Your executive vote for the Medicaid bill. Well, three, two, zero. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. Mr. President, when you signed Executive Order one two three two zero. On September the 15th, 1981, you said, I do not want this to go into the sand, never to be heard from again. This is a memento of a magnificent, outstanding accomplishments of your administration for the nation's historically black colleges and universities. It is given to you with love, with appreciation, and for, for your commitment and your leadership. Well, bless you and thank you very much, but I know how much work is represented in this by all of you, you and your staff particularly, and I appreciate that very much. I'm very pleased and proud of we've been able to do anything for such a cause. Thank you. Sir. I shall look forward to, to going through this report. You see, I happen to be, in a way, one of you, because I am... I'm an honorary member of the Tuskegee Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and you know, for, for an ex-horse cavalry officer. <laughs> <laughs> well, bless you all and thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. It's been beautiful working with you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. To see you, Mr. President. Here's John. How are you back here? I'm not back here. How are you? Good to see you again. And uh, can I slip you something? A little contribution I wanted to make to the to your institute. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, I'm allowed to say some words on behalf of my colleagues. We would like to thank you very much, Mr. President, that you give us the opportunity today to see you here in the uh, White House. And uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I have to say, of the German Association of Better Hearing. And uh, I think this is a non-profit organization, just very similar to the 
Better Hearing Institute here, here in the United States. And this was uh, started 22 years ago, and we aimed uh, for the public increase of public awareness of all the people with hearing problems. They have to go through every day, unfortunately, and also to show the possibilities how to get better hearing. And then uh, 13 years ago, it was, uh, I think, uh, 1975, uh, the Graham Bell Medal was, uh, Alexander Graham Bell Medal was inaugurated at that time from our association in order to uh, give honor to some individual persons. Since uh, that time, only five individual persons were honored with the award for their um, uh, extraordinary uh, distinguished work for hearing impaired people. And as you know, Alexander Graham Bell was such an outstanding person. He was a teacher for hearing impaired persons. And uh, when he inaugurated the telephone, I think it must be the late 1817s, uh, he found out that people who telephone much better understand other people than just by a normal conversation in a room. And then he started and devised the first uh, hearing aid. Wow. That must have been 1870. So that started 110 years ago, more than 110 years ago. So uh, we are very much honored that uh, you could accept our medal, uh, Graham Bell. And if you allow me, I would like to read the text shortly. The text is in German language, but fortunately, yeah, we have also a translation added in English language, so if you allow me to read that shortly. Certificate of Achievement in honor and remembrance of the service and contributions of Alexander Graham Bell in advancing the field of hearing rehabilitation did the Association for Better Hearing from the Federal Republic of Germany create the Alexander Graham Bell Medal. We hereby award this medal to Ronald Reagan, President of the United States of America, in recognition of his role in raising the cause of better hearing internationally, his commitment to increasing public awareness of the opportunities for better hearing which are available today, his personal and positive example in bringing a message of hope and encouragement to millions of hearing impaired individuals and their families worldwide. Association for Better Hearing, Federal Republic of Germany, September 1988. Well, I thank you very much. You Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. I speak the English not good, and therefore I speak German. We are stolz, that we this Auszeichnung annehmen. I gratuliere him persönlich ganz, ganz herzlich to this Auszeichnung and überbringe Ihnen auch die Grüße der Mitglieder der Bundesinnung der Hörgeräteakustiker von Westdeutschland. Mein herzlichen Glückwunsch, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much. Thank you all. And I may give you this uh, medal. Congratulations. And do you have a message for the German hearing impaired people? Well, thank you very much. I'm very pleased and, and proud. And I don't feel deserving at all. I'm so grateful for what uh, people and people like Dr. House have done for me with my problem, because another actor didn't know what to do with a gun. <laughs> he put it right up by my ear and shot it. Making a picture, yeah. and then things began to happen there. But I am most grateful to you. Yeah. Where? Any place or any, any place? place. that I was in show business. And there was a gentleman once with one of those, 
battery and had to run the volume up here and so forth on a train. Four air travel. There's a great comedian, comic team, the Ritz Brothers. Very sharp comedians. And in the club car, this man came over and he wanted to, he was a great fan. Larry, step a little to your right here. Okay. Jim. Ruth Keller. Jonathan Keller. Jay Keller. Hello, present, sir. And Mr. Jim Keller, who is leaving after four years of uh, a very. Not long enough. I've been having a little pain, right? <laughs> Why don't we get your family in here for a okay. photo? You certainly should be between us. Oh, okay. Once you get one son on either side, okay. how's that? You want to stand over here? Okay. Just stand over here. Okay. Great. Everybody can look right here. Big smiles. You too, Jim. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I'm going to miss you, but I wish you well. Sir, so we're going to miss you. It's been a pleasure to serve you. Uh, just some souvenirs. It's a pleasant surprise. There. Sir, thank you, and all the best to you, and thank you for all you've done for the country and for the military. We certainly do appreciate it. It's been a pleasure, sir. I'm going to miss the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jim is going to work for the uh, Army Surgeon General. Oh. And he's going to work, uh, he's going to be his uh, consultant uh, for physician assistance and uh, uh, has a lot, of, uh, a lot of projects that he's going to be uh, working on. Uh, That's great. John just brought the uh, Surgeon General in, I think, about six weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks right. ago, starting right. there. Right. Yeah. Could we ask one favor? Could... Sure. Uh, my son has a picture of Black Magazine, or of you in Black Magazine, Black Free Design. Let's see, don't mind, sir. Yeah. This is kind of a good <laughs> was that the one we did a couple? When was it? A year ago? Two years so. ago? This is for you. Yes, sir. My name is Jay. Uh, Jay. 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 All right. The only thing I can see is I'm going to have to write on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I can't be defacing for the, <laughs> for the deficit, sir. Uh, for the deficit. <laughs> Where would you like to have that? Um, wherever. I, I guess um, right around here or whatever. All right. And you're Jonathan, sir. Jonathan. Is that J-O-H-N or J-O-N? J-O-N. J-O-N. Still holding that, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, my pleasure. Sir, thank you for your time. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Wish you well. It was very nice to meet you, sir. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, John. Very nice to meet you, sir. Hey. <coughs> Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye, Provito. Are you going to get all the equipment?